Welcome to a game about a man named Carl who shall or will or maybe become famous. I don't really know. It's a text-based adventure game thing. I like them. So we're going to see how this one goes. Apparently it's got a butt ton of endings. So, okay, no. All right, calm down. I've still got pizza game to finish. I still have pizza game to finish. I'm not going to make any more series. Okay, go. Start. Kyle wakes up. He is famous. Already? Oh, did we win? <laughs> is it being unfamous? Do we just... Kyle is the host of the most popular talk show in the recent memory. Stay out late with Kyle. Stay out late with Kyle has grown into popularity quickly over the last year and the public's noticed. Insiders called Kyle a most excellent dumpy white man. Top Tech noted that Kyle is inspiring youth to explore STEM fields. Most other talk shows are dedicated to discussing Kyle and his personal details. Most online videos are best of clips taken from Kyle's latest broadcast. The eye of the world is upon Kyle. How can he fuck it up? Tonight, this is Kyle's most important guest interview yet. What, himself? Stay up late with Kyle will be featuring Rachel May. She's kind of a lovely philanthropist. Okay. She is dear to the hearts of many. This interview requires preparation. Kyle cracked his eyes open, knowing today is his last chance to prepare for the interview. Kyle has 30 hours left. He must choose wisely. Woohoo! Kyle's first decision of the morning was made wisely. Wither away or exit the bed. Um, I'm withering away. Carl decided to stay and put and wither away. Carl withered successfully and died. <laughs> ah, shucks. <laughs> Carl is now a ghost. This does not relieve him of his responsibilities. Uh, get out of bed anyway. Fuck. Oh, well, I'm a ghost boy now. <laughs> Carl exited ex uh, ex his bed and took a quick glance around his bedroom. Over the closet sit the desk, scavenge. Let's do some scavenging. Carl quickly crashed down on the floor, reasoning his immediate need for bugs. <laughs> Kyle started to pick between the fuzz of his bedroom carpet, hoping to catch a stray beetle or two. Soon he had a small handful of various insects dead and alive. Eat immediately! <laughs> what is this? Kyle threw back his head and crammed the sticky, wriggling mess into his mouth. Oh, thank you. He felt refreshed. Back to the bedroom. What does this do? I don't, <laughs> I don't know what this means. I'm a ghost man who's not hungry. Kyle returned to the center of the bedroom. Anything in the closet? Uh, ooh, choose an outfit. It was dark and you can only really see his hanging shirts. All right, okay, let's go for... Ooh, what should we pick? What should we pick? Suit one of the slick suit skunk... Skunk pasties? What is that? I'm gonna go with jeans and swimming goggles. Carl decided on a fashion forward casual style. He could barely see out of the goggles. All right, okay. Now I'm Scuba Steve, apparently. Let's go, I suppose, sit at the desk. Carl has made his way over to his desk and sat down. Uh, check desk in drawer. Carl opened up a small drawer on his desk and grabbed one of the items stored there. So it changed, uh, small key. Ooh. What does the key do? I'm, I'm, I wonder if we can find out where it is. Is it in the closet? No? Okay. Well, I just realized that every single click is taken. Let's go into the hallway. Carl walked down the small hallway that connects the rooms to the part together. Uh, check the locked door. <gasps> Carl walked over to the strange door in the hallway, but found it quickly. The door was locked. Oh, no. Oh, float through as a ghost. Okay, cool. <laughs> Carl uses ghostly powers to walk straight through the door. Fuck yeah! Carl found himself in the room. He stashed various items sent by his fans. Uh, check the sewing machine? Carl walked over to the dilapidating sewing machine. Its box was only half removed. Is, is that it? Is that all there is? All right, I'm trying to leave. Uh, float through the side door. Yeah, okay, good. Woo! Carl found himself in the room. He stashed... Oh, no, shit, that's where I was already. Uh, move to the kitchen, leave the apartment. Leave the apartment. Carl walked out in the middle of the road and took a long, pondering look around him. Uh, oh, I've only got one hour. I, I, I visit the tech store. Carl walked in the clean white tech store. He was greeted by Techno Jim, an elaborate cutout mascot with flashing lights. Uh, still Techno Jim. <laughs> okay. Carl hurried to the set. Per normal, he ceased to be a ghost before he's arrived. What? Is that a thing you can do? Sitting across from his coast, this chair was a glamorous woman with an air of genuinity. As Carl approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Approach her. Good evening, Carl. She's <laughs> kind of went a bit on that one. Good evening, Kyle. That sounds a bit better. She looked at him in the eyes. I've been looking forward to being here. Carl responded, scream and spin in circles. <laughs> ah! Carl started to stretch out his arms wide, tilted his neck back upwards, and was interrupted by his producer telling him and Rachel that it was time to start the show. Shit, no, no, really? Start the interview. A moment after seeing, the studio lights brightened and the cameras clicked on. Time to start the broadcast. Good evening, everyone, said Kyle, looking at the camera. Welcome back to Stay Up Late with Kyle. Kyle vomited all of the horrible things he'd eaten early onto the floor. <laughs> Rachel looked at Kyle, concerned. He gave a couple of costs and decided to play it cool and keep the show running. 
Carl stopped, then vomited again, then continued with a shaky voice. <laughs> Tonight, I have the pleasure of interviewing the lovely Rachel May, who needs no more introduction. Kyle mentioned to Rachel, who smiled and waved at the camera. Hello, Kyle, she said. I'm glad to be here. Well, I'm sure we'll have a lot to discuss, so you might as well dive right in, said Kyle. I'm very ready, said Rachel with a winning smile. In a shock, Carl realized he had never bothered to prepare any notes for the interview. Knowing that he had the eyes of millions upon him, Carl came up with a solution quickly. Well, I know I would do in that situation. I'm going to run the fuck away. Carl ejected from his seat and ran out of the studio as quickly as possible. After it became apparent that Carl was not coming back, the producer ended the episode and everyone went home. Hey, <laughs> Carl prepared by running away. <laughs> Yay! Uh, cool. Okay, let's try Let's try a couple more endings then. I really want to know what the... Uh, yeah, I know he's famous. Blah, 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 blah. Let's exit the bed. I, I want to know... What's the? I want to know what that key does. Let's get let's get the key. Let's check the desk drawer, and then we'll go grab the small key. Uh, do we wanna? Do we wanna grab the change? Let's grab the change while we're there, because uh, we might need some money. Then we're gonna go back out the room, and I wanna I wanna go head out uh, head outside and do something. Check the locked door, move to the kitchen. But I know that well, it can be just like smash our heads into it. Can't decide it would be best to try and force the door open with the use of his face. <laughs> After smashing the features into a solid room for several minutes, Carl gained severe short-term amnesia. Oh. <laughs> Oopsies. Uh, return to the bedroom, move to the kitchen, leave the apartment. Uh, let's, let's leave the apartment. Because I want to go to the tech store. Uh, Carl walked into the clean white tech store. Buy batteries for change. <gasps> Ooh, what can I actually do with batteries, though? I bought a battery. Carl counted out $1.98 in pennies and nickels and traded them all for a small packet of batteries. But, uh, oh, free samples. Carl asked the store attendant whether or not they offered any free samples to important customers. The attendant gave Carl a confused and slightly vacant look. Carl began to beg for a free sample. <laughs> Wanting Carl to leave, the attendant grabbed a decrepit phone meant for spare parts and held it out. Grabbed with teeth. <laughs> Carl firmly clamped his mouth around the outstretched phone, creating several teeth holes in the screen. Carl grunted and yanked with the head until the attendant let go of the phone. <laughs> the phone is now cards used forever. Yay! <laughs> uh, give a review of free sample. This phone, said Carl, has several years old and exposed wires coming out the back. Carl continued. The phone also had screen issues after I used it to hammer nails into the wall for a painting. Furthermore, when I some magic in water, I got severely shocked until it runs out of battery. The attendant looked at Carl, pursed his lips, and said nothing. Feeling he had made his argument, Carl decided to leave. <laughs> okay, so now that I've done that, I've got no more hours. Cool. Uh, right, leave. Now we go back. Hurry to the set. Sit so across the house to check the grams from the air of genuinity. As Carl approached her, Rachel looked at him up and smiled. Hey! Rachel's smile quickly turned into shock as she realized Carl had... Oh! <laughs> I forgot to put on clothes that day. <laughs> Oops. Carl waved and smiled broadly. Rachel uncomfortably averted her eyes. Carl started making his rounds around the room, greeting each crew member, none of whom looked at him directly. As it became apparent that Carl had no intention of leaving, Rachel made some excuses and exited the set. One by one, the crew followed suit. Carl was left all alone. <laughs> Yay! I did it by being a nudist, even though I literally did anything else but... Right, okay, so with that one done, what else have we got to do? Hmm, oh, we can browse social media. Aha! Carl started scrolling through the news and articles on his phone. Stamp with Kyle ranked number one and number two show on television. Ooh. New East Bridge being constructed after being found not actually exit authorities. Oh, no, not to actually exist. <laughs> authorities investigating. Another grand larceny and crime spree streak. Evidence points to perpetrator fleeing the country. Rachel made to unexpectedly leave the country on very, very long vacation. After interview tonight. Huh? Who is the bug vigilante recently spotted pursuing larcenists? Carl fails to show up to several charity events. Bug vigilante shows up to a charity event with fresh baked pastries. Donations flourish. Hot dogs making resurgence as fuel source for both humans and tugboats. Phone model recall. Techno gym stores blame overuse by customers. Carl's phone exploded in his hands from overuse. Get out of bed. <laughs> okay, so uh, maybe... Mm, do I, let's, let's open the closet. Let's choose an outfit. We're going to go for a suit of armor. Carl was unsure what exactly caused him to decide to wear his armor, but he felt like it was the right thing to do. After much squeezing and sweating, Carl managed to wrap the metal suit around his dumpy self. Cool. Carl returned to the center of the bedroom. Let's go and steal that, that guy. I really want to go and nick that person. <laughs> I want to see if I can actually just, like, uh, uh, steal Techno Jim. Quickly, before the attendant could acknowledge him, Carl grabbed Techno Jim by the shoulders. Finding that Techno Jim's cardboard feet were bottled to the ground, Carl started to pull upwards forcefully. After several tugs, Techno Jim broke free, leaving one foot and one leg behind. 
Carl glanced at the attendant who was staring bewildered and ran outside. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, that went well. What about the downstairs neighbor? I haven't spoken to him yet. Carl approached his downstairs neighbor at door and knocked. A middle-aged woman and Gabby answered the door. She looked at Carl expectantly. Greet and start the conversation. Oh, oh, okay, so I'm probably not really going to have much of a thing because I'm not going to be able to talk to anyone. Good point. Gabby looked at Carl expectantly. Uh, uh, ask Gabby about Rachel. Gabby, Carl asked, what is your true thoughts about Rachel May? Oh, Rachel, Gabby said. She's a wonderful woman. Her generous acts have inspired more good work than bad. And I can't hear anymore because I have to hurry to the set. Shit. Shit. Okay. Uh, 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 oh, interview Techno Gym instead? Yes. Carl roughly shoved Rachel out of her seat and placed Techno Gym in her stead. Hello, Techno Gym, said Carl. I'm going to interview you today. <laughs> Carl grasped Techno Gym's hand and tried to shake it, but instead tore it off the cardboard frame. Carl's producer, sensing a viral media, pulled the bewildered Rachel out of the frame and mo motioned the crew to go live. Cameramen moved, lights flashed, and suddenly the studio was in air. Hi, I'm Kyle, said Carl, and tonight I'm going to interview a very special guest. He pointed at Techno Jim using the dismembered arm. Techno Jim started to smoke from the heat of the lights. Would you like to introduce yourself, said Kyle? Knowing Jim would probably not speak, Carl took it upon himself to be his voice as well. Hi, Kyle! He said, raising the pitch of his voice. My name is Rachel May. I am a very special guest. <laughs> I'm sorry. Rachel's expression of confusion turned to shock. Well, Rachel, you look way too thin and absolutely terrible. And you should feel ugly. Carl gave Jim a meaningful stare. Well, Kyle, he said. I sure wish I could look like you. Techno Jim burst into flames. Instantaneously, the sprinkler system initiated. Curtains of water poured down from the rafters. Within seconds, the production equipment was doused in water. The set was just soon a burst with electrical fires. Carl's crew abandoned their posts as cameramen and sound mixers tried to put out the flyers. Flyers? Fires. As the crew scrambled around, the cameras continued to run. Carl sat, motionless, staring forward. Eventually, the fires were all put out. Carl's producers shut off the broadcast, leaving Carl's vacant stare as the final frame. Carl's ratings skyrocketed. Techno Jim became a staple on the show, often ending up destroyed by the end of each episode. Although Rachel did not come back on the show, her cardboard portrayal did rate rat rat who was very popular. Yay! <laughs> I did it! Let's have one more go at the very least, and we'll try and actually get like a full on decent interview started. Sound good to me? Sound good to you? Carl wakes up, he's famous, we already know. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna go exit the bed, and then we're gonna go closet and probably put on an outfit that isn't gonna be disgusting. Let's go, slick suit. Carl miraculously crammed his dumpy body into the suit. The chest pockets were filled with random knickknacks. Sweet. Uh, so now that I've done that, I can probably, hopefully, go and sit at the desk and then write the interview out. Yes. Carl wrote down his first question. Are you a mother? Am I a mother? Is your mother a mother? Are you a mother? Uh, <laughs> what are some diet tips? Beef <laughs> mashed or blended? Ever eaten a raw egg hole? <laughs> what are some diet tips? Uh, do you save a smile? I purposely ran over a puppy. <laughs> Maybe go with your funny story. Uh, what's your guilty pleasure? Do you feel guilty? Are you guilty? No, I'm gonna go with that one. Carl ripped his page of notes out of the notebook and got up from the desk. Cool. Uh, so now that I've done that, I want to go out of here. And then do I want to go... I could go and talk to the lady next door. Or I could potentially go into the kitchen. Uh, check pantry, open fridge. Ooh, eat crust on the fridge wall. Eat the fridge, prepare breakfast. Eat... Let's prepare a breakfast. Yeah, place that's going to toast along with a small fruit cup and grilled sausage. Yes, yeah, smash. <laughs> We're going to eat it. Carl ate his breakfast slowly and thoughtfully. God, that is a horrible noise. He felt refreshed. Good, I'm glad. Uh, now what do I want to do? Let's go to the hallway. Then we're going to go leave the apartment. Then we go visit the neighbor. And then we're going to go talk to the neighbor. We've already done most of this. Uh, let's, let's ask about Rachel. Gabby trailed off, not meeting Carl's eyes. Oh, what did I skip? Uh, after several uncomfortable minutes of silence, Carl turned around and left. Fuck, I didn't even read half of that. Ah, oh, shit. Um, guess we go back to the apartment. Maybe that helped. Uh, we'll leave the apartment. Nothing else happens. Hurry to the set. Glamorous woman. Rage up and smiled. Hey, everyone's happy. Carl responded. Screaming, spinning, set. We're all supply And as I will, Rachel answered Carl, extending his hand and greeting you, our most welcome guest. Shake hands. After another mild exchange of pleasantries, Carl and Rachel were prompted to take their places for the broadcast. A moment after seating the studio low, dead, 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 dead. We've already done all of this crap. Blah, 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 blah. Aha! Yes, we have a lot to dive into. I'm ready, said Rachel with a winning smile. 
Cup of juice is nosy you're taking earlier. What's some diet tips? What's your guilty pleasure? Oh, what's your guilty pleasure? We'll have one. What's your guilty pleasure? Oh, well, that's an easy answer, said Rachel. Dipping pickles in chocolate sauce. You're a fucking monster, Rachel. It might sound strange, but it's tangy and sweet at the same time. I eat it far too often. Rachel smiled sweetly. Kyle asked another question. What about some diet tips? Rachel, you managed to keep such a thin and healthy figure, said Kyle. What's your best diet tip? Well, a good diet starts with a plan, answered Rachel. And don't break it. Cheat days can turn into a habit. But, she continued, that doesn't mean a midnight snack here and there isn't allowed, she smiled. All right, well, that was nothing. She looked at his flabby self. <laughs> Kyle looked at his flabby self, decided not to comment and moved on. Kyle answered another question. What's your funniest story? It's probably going to be boring. <laughs> You've been involved in a lot of different things, said Kyle. What's your funniest story? Well, that's a great question, said Kyle, said Rachel. Uh, to, uh, yes, I think the story I always remember is the first time I tried to make dinner for my family. In, in the soup I made, I swapped out the water with milk and tipped a whole jar of salt in the pot. While my family was sick from trying to eat it, I swiped their things and locked myself in my room. What? You stole this? <laughs> Rachel laughed elegantly. Carl decided to move on. Good idea. Carl has another question. Are you a mother? Rachel, I and many others would love to know. Are you a mother? Carl looked up from his notes. Well, being a single woman with a career, she answered, that's not something that's crossed my mind. Rachel smiled genuinely at Kyle. Very reasonable indeed, said Carl. He referenced his papers of questions. After reading his final question, Carl looked up from his paper. Well, Rachel, he said, I think that's all I was planning on asking you. If that's the case, Carl, may I ask you something in return? Asked Rachel, smiling one more time. Do you prepare for your interviews in advance? Because you seem very together. Before Carl could answer, the camera shut down. The broadcast was over. Carl returned home knowing the interview had gone well. But as he lay in bed and drifted to sleep, he felt that perhaps something was still missing. Oi! Prepared very well! Cool! So we've done four. Four's pretty good. There's a lot more that we can sort out. We're probably going to do that next time. I.e., I think we're going to go for the dumb interview next time. I know I said it wasn't going to turn into a series, but I think it might actually turn into a series. <laughs> so yeah, next time, definitely dumb, dumb questions. We're going to go for that. Next, after that, I'm not too sure. Maybe you can help me out. Not just tell me how to get the, all the endings, please. I don't mean to do that. I mean, oh, maybe you should try and talk to this person. Or maybe you should steal this and wear that. Like, don't just give it to me clear. Just add a little bit of mystery. Anyway, I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, please do let me know. And I shall see you next time.